On Monday, Buckingham Palace confirmed the news that King Charles had cancer and would be starting his treatment straight away. Sky News viewers were left stunned after a presenter made several blunders while reporting on King Charles' cancer diagnosis. The network's U.S. correspondent, Martha Kellner, made the errors during a live broadcast from Los Angeles. It came after Buckingham Palace had announced that the king was diagnosed with cancer and would be undergoing immediate treatment. Kellner began her report by saying, We know that King Charles told all of his five children personally about his diagnosis that of course included the Duke of Sussex, despite the fact that the pair, it's no secret to say, have a very strained relationship at the moment. She also mentioned Prince Harry's cancelled trip to Canada with wife Meghan Markle stating, they were due to be in Vancouver to mark a year to go to the Invictus Games, which is an event for wounded, injured, servicemen and women that King Harry has been a long-time advocate for. Viewers at home quickly noticed a mistake when the presenter called Prince Harry King, and wrongly said Charles has five children. Fans on Twitter had a laugh about the mix-up during the report on royal troubles. One person tweeted, at Sky News going full fill space on the king's illness. One reporter just said the king had spoken to all five of his children and then said King Harry would be coming to the UK soon. Take a deep breath, people. Another joked, how ha ha Sky News US correspondent Martha Kilner just said King Charles told all five of his children, including the Duke of Sussex. A third added, there may be an opening on Sky News for a U.S. correspondent who knows her stuff. But someone else defended Martha, saying, I think grandchildren is probably what was meant. Rishi Sunak also shared his feelings following the announcement and said he felt shocked and sad after finding out King Charles had a health problem. The news came after he had an operation at the London Clinic in Marylebone. Buckingham Palace confirmed the worrying news on Monday. In a chat with BBC Radio 5 Live on Tuesday, the PM expressed, All our thoughts are with him and his family. Thankfully, this has been caught early. He voiced everyone's wish that the king gets the treatment that he needs and makes a full recovery. Further, the PM shared, That's what we're all hoping and praying for, and I'm of course in regular contact with him, and will continue to communicate with him as normal.